Hi, this is the Good Life Investor, and today's topic is Stephen Siegel's passport portfolio and how he got some of those passports and how that's really a great diversified portfolio. So let's look at this article from The Guardian. Stephen Siegel gets Serbian citizenship after offering to start a martial arts school. So this is what is typically referred to as citizenship by exception. I have a video on the Bulgarian citizenship by exception process. You can check that out right here. So in this case, Steven Siegel actually acquired Serbian citizenship. And often it's a myth that only if you're a sports person, you're in the Olympics, you can qualify for what is called as citizenship by exception. That's not true. Citizenship by exception is readily available for other fields also like culture, arts, sports, science, technology, and so on. In this case, what happened is uh, he obviously is a big brand name. He is a globally recognized personality. So when he opens up a martial arts school, then it, it, it's not just an ordinary person opening this institution, right? It's, it's someone who has proved himself. So that's one of the biggest criteria is that are you successful in your field? And it's usually proven with documentation. Maybe you have documentation that provides that you are quite successful in what you're doing. Once you start a new business in a new country, because you have the backing of already being successful, there's good chances that you might continue to be successful in the new country adding more value to its society, giving people either more entertainment or more uh, progress in their lives, in turn benefiting the country, its economy, its culture, its, its arts and whatnot. In those circumstances, the country can, you can make a case, you can make a claim to your citizenship because you qualify, right? You're doing something that's in the law. They have a law that grants citizenship. The only point is making a strong claim and filing your case and then hoping that the immigration authorities recognize that. Now, I'm not saying that these cases succeed often. These are very rare cases. Only if you're legitimately, genuinely qualified, only then there's point taking this gamble. Otherwise, worst case, you lose your application money a few hundred dollars. So in this case, uh, again, yes, you know, he opened up a martial arts school. And because he had her name and the school in Serbia, they decided to grant him Serbian citizenship. And he did mention that he feels like a Serb, which is great because then that really flows well with his new Serbian citizenship. And interestingly, he uh, also went on to acquire a Russian passport. He met Vladimir Putin of Russia. He met him and uh, the president of Russia actually physically signed his passport and handed it over to Stephen. And that's how he completed his Russian citizenship by exception. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go get a Russian passport. Maybe that's not what you need. I'm just saying what he obtained, those are his options. And now he has a portfolio of his original nationality, uh, Serbian nationality, a Russian nationality, and expands his options uh, globally. Hope you liked this video. If you want to get started with your residency, which then leads to citizenship, Click the link in the description, book a call, and we can discuss what best suits your specific needs. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, take a moment, we'll pause, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos and do it right now. And until next time, you take care and goodbye.